How much do you spend on skincare products? About two hundred dollars a month. Yeah, I'd say like a hundred a month. How often do you use skincare products a day? I use skincare products every day. When when I wake up in the morning, after I take a shower, every day, in the mornings and at night. What do skin products do for your skin? Do they help? They moisturize my skin. That's the biggest thing. It just like clears up my skin. Clean my skin. They make my skin clean and clear. Of course it helps, or else I wouldn't use it. What would you say if I told you that most skincare products don't live up to their claims? I would say I don't believe you. <laughs> oh sh really? <laughs> um, I'd be a little bit confused because there's people with good clear skin. But if you're surprised. A lot of chemicals. I wouldn't believe that. Where's the proof? How do you guys know this? North Americans spend over $50 billion a year on skincare products and spa treatments. In an industry which encompasses thousands of products, each making specific claims about anti-aging, navigating the science and efficacy behind skincare products can be challenging. In fact, most skincare and spa products do not penetrate the most superficial layer of the skin and are falsely advertised. Mechanisms involved with skin aging include collagen fragmentation and impaired fibroblast function. Collagen is needed to provide structure to the skin, and fibroblasts are involved in producing collagen. In aging skin, collapsed fibroblasts produce low levels of collagen and high levels of collagen-degrading enzymes. This leads to a cycle of aging skin. I never knew this. <laughs> there are some factors which lead to accelerated aging skin as well. Cigarette use is shown to result in coarse and fine wrinkling and altered complexion color. It just sounds scary. <laughs> smoking also results in a loss of skin elasticity. Cigarette smoking damages fibroblast function and therefore further damages skin. Cigarette smokers tend to look at least 5 to 10 years older than non-smokers when evaluating appearance of their skin. Oh yeah, like these harmful, participating in harmful uh, acts such as eating unhealthy, smoking, maybe drinking, I don't know, but all the unhealthy things for you would probably increase your uh, chances of getting more skin over time. What am I supposed to do now? What, what are the products? What's, what's the right, like how do I get my skin to talk to them? Further, beauty sleep is an evidence-based method for improved skin. Quantity and quality of sleep is shown to significantly affect the appearance of skin. Sleep-deprived people appear more tired, and sleep deprivation impairs cellular function, which reduces elasticity of skin. UV damage is one of the strongest influencers of skin aging, causing fine lines and hyperpigmentation. Sunscreen of at least SPF 15 is a crucial step for skin protection from the sun. The radiation from the sun can damage cells and results in a permanent stretching of blood vessels, which makes skin appear red. Oh, all those make sense. Uh, I don't use sunscreen, so that's a new one. Finally, eating a diet consisting a high proportion of fruits and vegetables and exercising also contributes to the appearance of healthier skin. When I don't get sleep at night, I have huge bags under my eyes and I can definitely see my skin just not, not being at its best. I know that eating uh, definitely makes my skin, eating well definitely makes my skin uh, look clean and clear. Um, uh, I always use sunscreen because we know that radiation ages our skin. So I would definitely agree with you on this. Overall, regardless of the celebrity endorsement or claim, skincare products are simply not worth it. In fact, most skincare and spa products consist of proteins and do not penetrate the most superficial layer of the skin. This means that they can't really live up to their claims and are falsely advertised. A recent paper published reviewed the top 10 skincare brands according to Forbes and analyzed all ingredients in each of their top 5 products. This word cloud shows the ingredients they found. Most of these chemicals are known endocrine disruptors, which means they affect hormone balance. 
Many of these ingredients are linked to infertility, reducing the age of menopause, and even cancer. None of the main ingredients here are linked to improving the appearance of skin. The only skincare ingredient which can penetrate the most superficial layer of the skin is retinoic acid, which is effective in stimulating new collagen. CO2 laser resurfacing and fillers are also effective treatments. Filler results in a stretching of the skin, which signals fibroblasts to produce new collagen. It's a little surprising. If I had the money, I'd definitely do it. <laughs> okay, is that it? However, the most efficacious regimen one can follow for better skin is not smoking, limiting sun exposure, and ensuring to exercise and eat healthy.